Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Nautical Series. Today in this video, we will be learning about latitude, longitude, delat and delong and some other terms. So to find out the position of any vessel or place or to locate them on the globe, we need latitude and longitude of that particular place. So today we are going to see latitude. What is latitude? Let us consider the Earth's surface. This is the globe. The shape of the Earth is oblate spheroid. This be the equator. Let these be the meridian passing through the equator. Let this be the center of the earth. This is the 3D diagram. So the angular distance between the equator, this is my equator, and the parallel passing at particular point on the earth's surface. Let this be the point on the earth's surface. Parallel passing through means the line parallel to the equator. So this will be the line parallel to the equator passing through a point. So the angular distance that is this angular distance. This is the angular distance. So the angular distance between the equator and the parallel passing through a particular point on the earth's surface is called latitude. This is a point A, this is a point B. So A, C, B gives you the latitude. Latitude is measured in degrees from 0 degree that is equator value is 0 degree and up to 90 degree north and 90 degree south. This goes from here 90 degree 0 0 0 degree to 90 degree north to 9, 0 degree to 90 degree south. On the earth we would designate lines of equal latitude as parallels. We will see what are parallels in the next topic that is parallel lines of latitude. So again, let us draw the Earth's surface or the globe. The shape is oblate spheroid. Let this be the equator with the C center of the Earth. So the circles drawn on the surface of the Earth parallel to the equator, that means circle drawn parallel to the equator. It may be in the North Hemisphere, it could be in the South Hemisphere. That extends up to the pole from 0, 0, from zero degree, that is equator, value of equator. That extends up to the pole means up to 90, 90 degree North or up to 90 degree South. Maybe here also. Could be here also. Named by the angle between the plane of the equator. This is the plane of the equator. This is the plane. And the line joining the center of the earth and any point on the parallel. Any point means let us take this point. This is the center of the uh, center of the earth. So line joining to center of the earth. Or this can be this that extends it extends from 0, 0 degree up to 90 degree this is the 90 degree latitude the extension of latitude is from 0 degree that is equator extension 
is from 0 degree that is equator up to 90 degree north or 90 degree south it could be from equator to 90 degree north or up to from equator to 90 degree south so now we'll discuss some important latitudes on the earth's surface this is an oblate spheroid this is the equator with 0 degree let these two be the latitudes in north hemisphere in the other two latitudes in the south hemisphere so this latitude is named as arctic circle this latitude is named as tropic of cancer this latitude is named as tropic of capricorn this latitude is named as antarctic circle the extension or the value they have is 66 and a half degree north 23 and a half degree north arctic circle is 66 degree north tropic of cancer is 23 and a half degree north tropic of capricorn is 23 and a half degree south antarctic circle is 66 and a half degree south and the value of south is 90 degree value of north is 90 degree so these all are important latitudes we should remember their name and the values they have in degrees we've discussed in our last video that equator is a grid circle with a maximum diameter and all the other circle which do not pass through the center of the earth they are called as small circle so here in this diagram the equator is a grid circle with a maximum diameter and all the other circles this is the latitude or all the other latitudes they all are small circles equator itself is a latitude with a value of 0 degree so the next topic we are going to discuss is longitude we'll draw the diagram first this is an oblate spheroid with the equator and let this be the meridian and this be the center of the earth so the angular distance between the Greenwich meridian this is the Greenwich meridian Greenwich meridian passes through London Greenwich meridian and other name is prime meridian the angular distance between the Greenwich meridian and the meridi and the meridian passing through a particular point let uh, this be the particular point meridian passing through a particular point this is the point on the earth's surface so we are again going to make 3d type diagram this is a Greenwich meridian this is any point that is let it be a dash and this be point a this be the point B so the angular distance between the Greenwich meridian and the meridian passing through a point particular point that is let it be a point so this angular distance 
is called as longitude it could be here also so this angular distance is called as longitude longitude is measured in degrees of arc from 0 0 0 degree that is 0 0 degree that is prime meridian up to 180 degree either east or west this could extend we will see in the next diagram this is the earth this is the equator this is a prime meridian and this is the anti meridian to the prime meridian so from this value is 0 0 0 degree this is a prime meridian from here we can measure longitude up to 180 degree west or up to 180 degree east 180 degree east or 180 degree west the prime meridian divides the earth into two equal hemisphere that is western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere we cut the earth into two equal hemisphere uh, from the prime meridian so it will divide the earth into two equal hemisphere that is the western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere on the earth we designate lines of equal latitude as meridians as in the last topic of latitude we designate lines of equal latitude as parallels here in longitude we designate it as meridians the prime meridian has a value of 0, 0, 0 degree as I have already told and the value is also expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds and we know that in 60 minutes uh, we have 1 degree of rotation and 60 second equals to 1 minute now we will see the meridians of the longitude again we will draw the diagram this is the earth this is the equator so the semicircle drawn on the surface of the earth semicircle that joins the two poles and crosses the equator at right angle so this is the north pole this is the south pole so the semicircle means it's not a full circle or a great circle this will only be going from north pole to south pole or south pole to north pole that cuts the uh, that crosses the equator at right angle due to the earth surface that is earth surface is very large this line will look like they are cutting at a right angle and each meridian will have its anti meridian this is semi semicircle or this will have an anti meridian that is exactly behind it that is 180 degree and this meridian this is a meridian this is anti meridian the meridian with its anti meridian will make a complete great circle so guys this is the part one of the video in the next video we will see about d lat and d long